Spider phone, spider phone. Going to Elephant Trunk Flea Market uh, with the fam. Boom, it's near the end of the day. That's okay. Maybe that's where the deals will be. Elephant Trunk Flea Market is New England's largest flea market. Though uh, that's self-proclaimed, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Complete in-box Millennium Falcon with manual and everything. $275. Do you say Hulk or Hulk? How do you say Hulk? Titanic on VHS for $8. That's expensive, but I got it for $2 later. If you haven't heard of Titanic Fan 97, look them up. I'm not sure when any of these came out, but I love the box art. These are beautiful. This guy told me these were the last of a lot of 10,000 games he bought. Uh, I didn't pick one up, but it was really interesting that he had so many copies of Star Wars uh, Episode One Racer. Just chillin'. I don't know why, but these look like products that aren't even real. Like they're meant to be in the background of a movie or something. I think I'm a bigger fan of Xena than I was Hercules. Loved them both, but I think I liked Young Hercules starring Ryan Gosling the best. Whenever I see unopened cassette tapes, I think I'm gonna make a mixtape, but I don't have a working cassette player. So hidden amongst these antique things is a whole box of uh, GBA and DS games. And uh, check it out. Uh, Genesis, not a bad selection of games here, but he wanted $200, that's too much. Look at these shisha, they're like little lion guardian things, they're pretty cool. I feel like these were Best Buy exclusive NSYNC dolls. I feel like I would like an entire room of Joey Fatone dolls. Look at all these minifigs, these are really neat. I don't, I, I don't collect these, but some people are really into them. Funko Pops are the type of things that uh, if I start collecting them, I will never stop. Old books and old man garage signs. Oh yeah. Everybody out here has boxes and boxes of records. But every once in a while, I'll find something I like. But not in this box. Not today. I was just getting five bucks each for the games. Okay, that's not bad. I had a pile of about a hundred of them this morning. <laughs> really sold a lot of them. Yeah, I, I'd expect. Yeah. I like this some... DS Advance and stuff, it's so Oh, you know, I think DS and 3DS does very well. Advance does very well. I had a bunch of the consoles too. I ended up picking up this crossbow and this uh, Wii Classic controller, maybe Pro controller, uh, for 10 bucks. Not bad. Don't Wake Daddy is now the theme song to my life. I recently found out there's only 62 original Goosebumps books, which is uh, crazy news for me because I love Goosebumps and 62 is the number where you could actually probably collect all of these. I've been collecting VHS lately. It's a really bad habit because I do have a VHS player, but I never watch these things. But when you see things like Goosebumps on VHS and another copy of a different Goosebumps, you're just like, yeah, I need these. Check it out at Bowser's Castle and a 2010's Furby. You can tell it's a 2010's Furby because the eyes are made of LED screens, which is uh, pretty neat. A loose box of Pokemon cards. I don't really collect Pokemon cards like that. It's interesting that this one's not in English. Got ourselves a big box of miscellaneous games. Very interesting here. Uh, nothing that I'm looking to get, but uh, it's always fun to go through these just in case there's something rare. And then there's this uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Don't know what that's about. You know, I've never really owned an Atari, but I've always found that the boxes are always interesting to look at. But here's some NES games. Nothing that I don't have. Nice little Rob poster. He wouldn't sell this separately of the game, but there is no game this went with, so it's weird. Found a huge table of games, two for five dollars. Lots and lots of these games are really fun, but they're the types of games that they sold millions and millions of copies of. But if you're just looking for games to play, this is a great table to browse. This is a great table to pick up some gems. Had all the good stuff behind the glass. Got ourselves a Mega Man here, not bad. Then a Silent Hill, Shattered Memories. Then, you know, just some GBA and Game Boy games. Another guy had some sealed games and some other, you know, nice finds, but nothing I was looking for, but it's always nice to check it out. I don't know if I've ever actually seen this NES game. I'm not sure if it's rare or not. Somebody else had a bunch of loose games on a tarp. A lot of fun games, but nothing I needed. I saw a bunch of games under some boxes. I was hoping for some gems, but they were all priced pretty high. Nothing I was looking for either. So, you know, sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them. Ooh, and this new Ghostbusters car. That's pretty cool. Nice. Looks like I'm going to get some uh, fried dough before I uh, do the haul portion. Uh, I actually didn't get any, but uh, this is what they had. Looked pretty good. So I ended up getting this uh, Wii controller right here. <clears throat> also the Wii Zapper. Uh, it came with Link's crossbow training, which is pretty neat. Complete in box. And then <clears throat> went ahead and grabbed this you draw game tablet uh it came with game uh also complete in box 
Then you got a copy of Titanic on VHS. Uh, well, anyways, that's all I got for now. Uh, if you like this video, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. But let me know what you'd like to see next.